The New York Times city sources briefed on President Trump's plans for the Iran nuclear deal who state that the president intends to decertify the deal without fully withdrawing from it. This will reignite that the Times call a violated political debate in Congress and effectively force the legislature to make the next move. Mr. Trump's expected move would allow him to tell supporters that he had disavowed the accord, while bowing to the reality that the United States would isolate itself from its allies if it sabotaged a deal, with which Iran is viewed as complifying, writes the Times, judging that Republican representatives have little appetite for the debate Trump allegedly plans to drop on them in about two weeks. One Republican who does seem to have an appetite for debating the nuclear deal is Senator Tom Cotton, who is said to be working closely with the White House to devise its strategy. Cotton wants to use the threat of sculpting the deal to drag Iran and the Europeans back to the table to hammer out a better deal. European leaders have been sending signals they will remain with the deal even that the United States will pull out. The three changes Cotton must urgently recommend for eliminating sunset causes that would automatically erase most of restrictions on Iran's nuclear program by 2030, beefing the international inspectors regime and explicitly curtailing Iran's missile program. Another potential pitfall referenced in the New York Times analysis is that some Iranian leaders are unhappy with how various aspects of the deal have worked out. Broadly speaking, they do not think the economic benefits have lived up to projections in a part because the United States government has not enthusiastically driven business in post-sanctions to Iran. These Iranian critics would probably bring their own complaints for any new negotiations.